Welcome back, guys. Today's day 74, and my name is Christian with today's daily Bible reading. We're going to be reading Acts 2, 14 to 21. So let's do this. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, raised his voice and said to them, Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and heed my words. For these are not drunk, as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And I shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And on my men servants and on my maid servants I will pour out my spirit in those days. And they shall prophesy. I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass, that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, even today is, is part of the last days, and you are pouring out your spirit, and people are prophesying. And your young men are already having visions, and, and your old men are having dreams. And getting closer to your rapture and your and the wrath that you're going to pour on the earth onto the wicked. Lord, I just pray that you're with us during this persecution, during the times of prophesying and letting them see your wonders and, and miracles, Lord. And your power will go throughout the earth and people will know that you are God, but will reject you. Even after yesterday's movie that just came out called Come Out in Jesus' Name, that the enemy's really mad, and and rightly so. As warriors are standing up, and you're training your leaders, Lord, and your generals today. As we see evil right now going throughout the children's education and, and TV shows and cartoons, Lord. The agenda is being pushed forward, but it also means that you're raising us up, Lord. We will overcome the enemy. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, I just ask today that you continue to move us up and we begin to flank the enemy as we see what they're doing and we're all together praying against the enemy. As together we're being united. I thank you, Lord, for pouring out your spirit. And as we get closer to the end times, you say you will show your wonders in heaven above and your signs on earth below. I believe in my lifetime, Lord, that you're going to be showing us the the smoke and then the blood moon and all that during the tribulation. And your awesome day will come. As each day passes and we're stepping forward toward you, Lord, more workers are being trained today. And we will win souls for you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. For day 75, go ahead and click on the link on the screen and I'll see you guys on the next one.